Joseph hasn't gone back to Africa, has had no reason to. His whole family was dead as far as he knew. Then, incredible news, his mother Perina was alive, had survived the war, had made it to a refugee camp in Uganda. And there was another miracle, Skype. So a few months ago, Joseph ironed his best suit and went over to his mentor's house. His mother had been driven three hours to the offices of IOM, the International Resettlement Agency in South Sudan. It was the first time mother and son were going to see each other since they were separated by war 25 years ago. Hello. Hello. Papa. You missed. Mom. Angai. Mom. Mom. Hello. Angai. Mom. Atevi. Come on, you missed. Hello. Oh, go on, be. Hello. His mother had thought Joseph was dead. Had held a funeral service for him. Even now, she had no idea what he'd been through. If I go to Ethiopia, okay? When Joseph tried to tell her, he just couldn't get through it. But there were light moments too, shared memories of Joseph's happy childhood in a country village before the war ended childhood and everything else. And of course, his mother wanted to know why, after all these years, Joseph had not married a nice American girl. 